Back in October, Ricky Rourke and his wife Ruth brought this beautiful horizontal beehive uh, to me all the way from North Carolina. And it's, it's worked out really well so far. We put a nuke in here that has one of Greg Burns queens from Nature's Image Farm, one of the Pepto Pink queens that he delivered to me back in July. So I wanna crack it open and see what we have. I have been in these bees a few times. We've been putting Hive Alive fondant in here, and I even put some Hive Alive pollen uh, patties in here uh, last week. So let's see what we have here. All right, looks like they've been working on it. Okay, this little compartment right here is where the nuke is. And I took the inner cover out so they would have room for the uh, patties. They've been working on the uh, fondant quite a bit, not as much on the pollen. We have some pollen right here that's disappeared, but anyway, they're working on it. Let me move this stuff out of the way here. Yeah, they're, they're busily working on it. They really like that Hive Alive fondant. I'll leave a link down below. If you put Bruce Tenney, you'll get a discount. Still quite a bit of the pollen sub left. I really don't know what to expect. Let's see a few Hive Beetles right here. I'm gonna smash, but not many, just a few. What I'm seeing is a fairly small population of bees from here forward, probably four frames. And uh, so it's not a huge population. One of the things that can be an advantage about these bees from Northeast Caucasian uh, Northern bees is that they don't have a huge population in wintertime. And so they don't eat a lot of resources. But in here I'm seeing, we got some pollen in there. A little bit of nectar looks like even right through there. So maybe there's a little bit of a nectar source coming in. I can actually just slide this whole uh, board over so we got some room here. Hoping to see the queen, love to see her. Nice little patch of brood, nice little brood pattern. Same thing on this side. You'll see I'm working them without any type of uh, gloves. Probably could even go without a veil. They seem to be very calm. When we put these bees in the original nuke box, they really didn't have good resources. It was kind of a desperate time for them. So I've just been trying to make sure I keep them. Whoop, I put my finger on one, it stung me. Ouch. So I've just been trying to kind of keep them alive. They really didn't have the resources they needed, but we needed to get them split and put a queen in them. So I've been trying to supplement them pretty good, but they're so calm, look at them. And then we'll pull this frame out. So here's the queen right here with the pink dot on her. She's just calmly working. And uh, they seem super calm. Uh, we'll see what happens. You know, right now, they have definitely brooded down some. Not a ton of bees, but they should start turning it on here pretty soon. I think we're about to have some flows kicking in in some areas it's already kicking in some. So I anticipate big things out of these bees. We're giving them all the supplement that I think they need right now with the fondant and the uh, pollen patties. I don't care if they're not huge right now. It makes it just easier to deal with them actually if they're a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and put whatever's left of this fondant in here. And I may get a new uh, fondant patty in here. Doesn't look like pollen is a great big need for them. They aren't doing a whole lot with the pollen here, but I'll go ahead and put it back in there. And we'll keep you posted, see how they do. Beautiful hive, the bees seem to be doing okay. I uh, just gotta keep, keep them fed and, and see how they do going into the spring. I'm anticipating uh, if they start to explode, uh, letting them expand this way. I may move them to the middle and put a couple more nukes on the ends. Not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. Anyway, I wanna have a nice strong colony in the middle here and see how they do. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.